Hello and welcome to a Building Blocks episode on uh, playing the guitar and in particular whether I should be using one of these. My enemy, basically. When I first picked the guitar up when I was 16 years old, I didn't have a plectrum. In fact, it was my sister's acoustic uh, guitar just kind of lying around in a bedroom gathering dust. And I picked it up randomly one day and just started playing, you know, we didn't have a plectrum in the house. A couple of days later, I thought, this is cool. Caught a bus into uh, into Blackpool, uh, where there was a, a music shop that sold sheet music, and bought a copy of um, Iron Maiden's first album, Notated, you know, the, the, the lyrics songbook, basically just the melody lines and some basic chords and went home and started diligently learning songs off this off this album and basically and just played melody lines on the guitar with my fingers and it began it began there I, I tried buying plectrums and it, it never particularly felt right and so I grew a fingernail in the shape of a plectrum on my on my forefinger and played like that for a couple of years and was perfectly happy it let me develop all sorts of flicky styles and playing with my thumb and and plucking double strings and all sorts of stuff. And I'm going to interlace this uh, episode with some uh, shots that I'm going to di record direct into the camera now. I don't have an ideal setup for, for playing live. It's a bit tricky. I basically have to pull everything to bits and send the output directly into the camera. It's the only way that I can record anything live with no lag. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of a um, a comparison of plectrum versus uh, finger. So, firstly, I'll play some stuff with the plectrum. listening for that ringing tone. There it is. Here's the problem. When I'm playing like that, that's what I'm doing. How do I dump strings when I'm vibrato? I mean, I'm using my thumb here, but if I'm traveling more quickly, that has to come across and kind of do the job. It can't be done with this finger. To do all of that with just my hand. It just feels more natural. As I'm traveling up the fretboard now, my thumb is doing the bass guitar thing where it tracks, tracks across the strings, muting them. Should be looking there. I'm looking at the viewfinder because I'm, I'm not used to talking and recording directly into the camera. And now I've got access to Switch to just switch the bass thing. You know, I'm kind of doing this kind of business. Mm -hmm. 
So the idea is that I use this just completely without thinking. I, I don't know what I'm doing when I'm playing the guitar with my hand. I don't know whether I'm using two fingers like it's a bass guitar or multiple fingers or holding my forefinger like it's a plectrum and playing like that. But for whatever reason, uh, I, I, I allowed myself to be peer pressured into picking up one of these things as a, as a teenager being told that you know you really need that clarity you're not getting you're not ringing the notes out with your fingers and, and and you need to play with one of these and so at the age of maybe 18 19 I did and here I am 30 years later basically writing it off I, I, I've kind of made this decision already and I made the video genuinely with the intention of come on plectrum you know give me something give me something to, to hang on to to uh, to let you to let you stay Trying to think of things that the, the plectrum is traditionally good at. Obviously slurring. Completely impossible without a plectrum. So let's do some attempted solo stuff with the plectrum. It's, it's life is on the line, it's hanging by a thread. Let's do something like this with a little bit of <clears throat> finger plucking and then try. I don't want it to sound like that. I want it to be soft and gentle. Downstroking. Come on, Plectrum. You need to you need to fight for it. If you want it. Ah. Oh. Kind of having already made my mind up, it just feels so tortuous. Boo! This is organic and lovely and wonderful and I should use this and I'm going to use this from now on. Thank you, One Man and His Songs, for making me realise that I've been an idiot for 30 years. Right. Now I can start learning how to be a guitarist. But it's just not cutting it. It's gone. So, with rare exceptions, I'm not going to say never. I can imagine, um, like, closely played chord, chord things where you, you're picking each individual string with the plectrum. That will still sound nice. Um, but but in terms of general playing and particularly for for soloing or or anything where I just pick up and noodle away, uh, this is going in the drawer. And I think the thing that really clinched it for me uh, yesterday, I had a bit of a life moment when I was doing the uh, the snowfall video. I talked about this this dilemma, and I, when I was watching it back and, and editing it, um, I thought wow you're actually kind of sad there you know when I said it, it's something like it's horrible you know it, it has been just a, a constant conflict for all of these years every time I pick a plectrum up I just play badly I don't I don't enjoy it and so I'm not incentivized to to try to learn those techniques where you damp the strings to prevent them from ringing out and I, I did all my due diligence I went to YouTube and looked up all the techniques on on how to stop strings ringing out but hopefully when you, you watch the videos that I've made, I 
don't play in that style. I don't play fast lick run ups that guitarists who you know need that clarity uh, play. I tend to vibrato strings a lot, which makes damping the, the string above with the tip of your finger really difficult because you, you, you've got no mobility in your finger if you're doing that. The way that I, I double pluck strings with, with two fingers and it just feels completely organic and always has. And so during all of this investigation, I, I hearkened back on, I, I said that Jeff Beck plays with his fingers and I said it knowing it as a fact, but incredibly, I have never actually watched any Jeff Beck footage live. And the staggering thing is that he's one of my favorite guitarists. There's music by him that's just truly sublime. Blow by Blow is one of my all time favorite albums. And yet for some inexplicable reason, I've never seen any live footage of him. So I watched um, a, a YouTube concert of him at um, Ronnie Scott's. Highly recommend you go out and you, you go and have a look at it. It's, it's just absolutely phenomenal. Really, really fantastic. The whole concert, I was just, you know, just absolutely slack jawed at what Jeff Beck was doing on the guitar. And mostly from the perspective of he is just an absolute god. Uh, he, he makes the guitar like basically literally sing. But many of the techniques that he was employing, not the thumb thing, he plays with his thumb an awful lot. I play the guitar like he does. Now, I'm not close to being in the ballpark of considering myself any kind of peer, but at least. It's a vindication that what I've been doing for all of these years is it's okay, you know. And then, then the thought strikes me, ah, I'm 49 years old and I still need somebody else to tell me that it's okay. For the love of God, you know, just grow up. So, so this is me really taking that stand and, and shaking off the shackles of those people who 30 years ago told me you need to play with a plectrum. Uh, Everybody does. All the good guitarists use plectrums. You're never going to get anywhere sounding like that. It's all muddy and crap. And I suppose a realisation made eventually is better than one never made at all. So uh, here I am um, declaring myself plectrum free and um, all the better for it. You know, I just feel really kind of light and, and, and cheery and happy. And it's fantastic that just the process of me physically making these videos and saying something and thinking, I can't talk about Jeff Beck using his finger to play the guitar if I've never seen it. I can't talk about, you know, anything that I'm now discussing in these videos, I can't say that. I can't say that I, I don't know how to damp the strings if I've not gone and tried to find out. So I'll go and try to find out. That's what it's all about. That's what I'm doing it for. It's, it's like just completely fantastic. I'm so happy. And since I've only just come to this realization, you know, maybe someone else out there will benefit from this. Don't let other people tell you what you can and can't do. If something feels good and you enjoy doing it, that's all that matters. You know, and that's, that's, that's where I'm approaching pretty much every aspect of my music writing now. You know, in one of the earlier videos that, that I've, I've done for this, uh, for this project, I've said, you know, I don't know whether my music's any good. Yes, I do. It is good. I like it. <laughs> you know, what I'm what I really should have said is I don't know if anybody else will like my music, but I can't say that it's not good because I like it. I think that's a life lesson. I'm, I'm really happy to have learned it and I don't think it's too late. A bit of a rambling one, um, but really important. This is um, this is kind of musical life or death to me not actual you know none of this is actual life or death but I do trouble about it and um, this is one thing that I've, I've resolved and I, I can barely keep the smile off my face so I hope you enjoyed the video um, for normal content for the back on track series and whatnot if you hit subscribe and um, click the notification bell then you'll find out when that stuff comes out and from now on you'll hear a lot more music where I'm not using one of these. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.